So in the last video, I went over how to use and create variables. For this video, I will go over some fancier methods of changing variables instead of using just the equal sign. More specifically, the usage of mathematical operators in C Sharp. So in order to get started, let me escort you in a facility that was shut down due to being compromised by the So in C Sharp, there are five main arithmetic operators that exist. The first one being addition. This operator is simply used to add two numeric values together. This can also be used to append one string onto another string. This is known as string concatenation. The second math operation that can be done is subtraction. This operator is simply used to subtract a numeric value from another. The third math operation that can be done is multiplication. This operator simply multiplies two numbers together. The fourth math operation is division. This operator simply divides two values together. Last but not least, the fifth math operation is the modulus operator. The modulus operator returns the remainder value of a division operation. For example, 3 modulo 2 will return a value of 1. So those are different operators in C sharp. Now let's look at using them in code. So when you want to perform any sort of math operation on a value to a variable, you can do my num equals my num math operator and any other number a way you can make this shorter and more concise is by combining the equal sign and math operator together so this example code my num equals my num math operator another number becomes my num math operator equals another number also in making long math operations like my num equals 3 plus 5 divided by 8 bed mass or pemdas is applied so division will be done first before the addition is performed in this example code. Also, one important thing to keep in mind is that the output can differ depending on the type of number you are using. If you are using an int variable to represent 3 divided by 2, you will not get 1.5 as a result because the int type represents only whole numbers. You will get the number 1.5 if you were to use the float or double type as these types are used to represent decimal numbers. So that is all for C Sharp math operators. In the next video, I'm going to go over strings. So if you're interested, like and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.